ever get to the door on your way out in a hurry and suddenly realize that what you're wearing is not just a little wrinkled, it's a lot wrinkled. <laughs> yeah, me too. What you need is some way to quickly take the wrinkles out because you got to go. And if you can't get them out quickly, you at least want to take them out completely. So that's why we took the Rowenta Ultra Steam and the Tefal Ultra Glide and put them to the test. Presenting the Rowenta Steam Brush. This steamer is the perfect companion to your full-size iron, ideal for quick touch-ups. This compact steamer is easy to store and excellent for travel. Okay, so now you've seen the commercial for the Rowenta Ultra Steam. I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. This is Etta Watson. We are here at Peninsula Dry Cleaners in Seaford. Thank you so much for helping me out with this. Etta, you guys do a process of steaming clothes here. Let me just talk about a shirt because that's what we're going to play with today. If I bring to you uh, this wrinkled old shirt, uh, what would you do with it to, to get the wrinkles out? Well, we will wet it, and then we will put it on a body that we have. It's right. a shirt presser. Okay. And it will steam. We will press it out without and a wrinkle. Take take all the wrinkles. How long would that take? About 25 seconds. Really? Mm -hmm. That quick? Okay. So here's my situation. We're going to make a pretend situation. Mm -hmm. um, I'm heading out to work first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. I put the shirt on. Oh my goodness! I get to the kitchen and realize it looks like this. Mm. I need to get these wrinkles out because I don't have another clean shirt. Okay. Here's where the Rowenta Ultra Steam is supposed to come in and make this great. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to put it to the test? and let's see how well it does. Sure. Yeah? All, All right. right, let's do it. All right. Out comes the Rowenta Ultra Steam. A quick look at the instructions reveals the water reservoir is on the handle, so we take that off to fill it. And filling it was easier said than done. But we finally got some in there and then replaced the reservoir onto the handle. Between the two of us, we finally figured out how to attach the brush plugged it in, and after just a few seconds, it was producing steam. There we go. Oh. Time for Etta to get busy. And it didn't seem to take Etta very long to form an opinion. Uh -uh. This is... Well, come on, give it a chance, Etta, give it a chance. <laughs> Be fair. So, uh... <laughs> not, not overly impressed, are you, Etta? No. No. Okay. No. We'll come back to this in just a second, okay? Here's my next question. When these little pleats on the back here and on mm -hmm. the sleeves, I like to have a, a crease. I like to have a pretty neat pleat here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here at Peninsula Dry Cleaners, how would you do that? We would take an iron and crease your sleeves and we will crease back here. Okay, I'm so glad you said that and here's why. I just happen to have, let's get this thing out of the way because we'll talk about it here in a second. This is the t -fowl. 1725 watt uh, easy cord ultra glide iron is easier than anything else you've ever used. Okay. So try it? Okay. All right. Out of the box with instructions, but Etta said we shouldn't need instructions with this. Just like with any iron, it's important to not overfill it with water and be sure to set the temperature control based on what type of fabric you're about to iron. And Etta got busy on the sleeve. Kind of like what she felt right off the bat. But it's, 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 it's on and smoothly. Yeah. Well, that seemed pretty smooth. Mm-hmm. You, did, did you like the way it felt? Yes. Now, I know I like you've that. handled an iron or two in your day. I know I have. Does that Ooh. one feel any better than everything else? Well, it, it's a lot better than the irons that we used to have. You know, the ones with all the sticky. Ooh, yes, you're right. And it would burn. Yeah. But this here, I like this iron. Okay, so. Um, we, we've tried the, uh, the, the Rowenta Ultra Steam that mm -hmm. didn't seem to do too much to get the wrinkles out, but the iron mm -hmm. seems to work okay. The t iron works out pretty good. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Big picture, what, what do you think of what you've seen? How do you feel about what we found out here? Well, I find out this here is for trash. <laughs> this here is great. Okay, now let me add one more twist to this. Mm -hmm. The Rowenta Ultra Steam mm -hmm. is only $29.99. Mm -hmm. Would you buy it? No. Why? Because it doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. The t -fowl iron, that's $49.99. Would you buy it? Yes. Why? Because it's a good iron. Yeah. I mean, as you can see, it irons really good. You're happy with how it worked out? Yes. Etta, you are a doll. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. There you go. Now, Etta taught me a lot while we were at Peninsula Dry Cleaners and Seaford. For instance, 
regardless of what time-saving videos you find on YouTube, <laughs> it is never a good idea to iron your clothes while you're still wearing them. There are, however, those who turn to the Internet to ask if you really can do it. Is it safe to iron my clothes while I'm wearing them? And there are those who answer them with sarcasm, perfectly safe. Been doing it for years. Make sure you start with the iron on the hottest setting. Move very quickly. Start with the crotch area of your clothing first. Good luck. <laughs> don't do that. That was a joke. If you don't have time to iron your clothes, start wearing burlap because it never wrinkles. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, well. Thanks for watching Delmarva Life. Be sure to join us tomorrow. For 20 years, a volunteer group here on Delmarva has been offering heart patients at Peninsula Regional Medical Center hope. The group is called Mended Hearts. Find out how they're opening their hearts and helping others through this scary time in their lives. Maybe you're looking to mend your garden after this brutal winter we've had. Gardening expert Jenny Rosencrantz here to teach us all about sunny and shady perennials how to plant gorgeous flowers now that will come back year after year. If you're looking for a place to store all those extra gardening, landscaping, and other bulky outdoor equipment pieces, maybe you should look into getting a shed. Our friends from Angie Fliss tell us what to look for, which materials will give you the most bang for your buck. And after you finish up your hard yard work, you <laughs> may be ready to take a little dip in the pool, but not so fast. There are a few things that you need to do to get your pool in tip-top shape. We're going to show you a few simple things that will have your pool looking great all summer long. Plus, we're in the Del Marva Life kitchen with the chef from Market Street making a Mediterranean mahi-mahi. And it looks like we are making a bit of a comeback when it comes to Search for Striker. We have another chance to win tomorrow. Don't forget, if you missed any of today's information, just visit WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page. Del Marva Life, life at its best here on Del Marva. Now don't go anywhere. WBOC News at 6 starts right now.